Hello, everyone, and welcome into another edition of the pregame coaches interview. And I'm joined once again with head coach your Hayes High Indians, Tony Crow, and coach tonight. You get your homecoming game against Dodge City, and uh, the regular season and race for WAC championship for you guys is now heading towards the home stretch. So, how are you and the team feeling entering tonight's matchup? We're feeling pretty good. We've uh, we're kind of at that point in the season where we've got some oh, we've got some bumps and bruises and a couple injuries we've been working through, but we're feeling pretty good and uh, and we're ready to get this thing going. Looking back at last game against Junction, the highlight was the ground game with 310 rush yards altogether, 246 of which came from Holden Lynn. So how do you plan to use the ground game tonight against the Dodge City defense that has 34 tackles for a loss and also three players that have at least five tackles in that stat category? Yeah, they're, they're aggressive. Um, they like to get after you. They like to uh, you know they like to, to push their defensive linemen through there and back a, they pack a bunch of guys in the box. Uh, we think some of their stats are maybe a little bit inflated. Um, based off of uh, based off some of their competition, and so we're we're not too concerned maybe about you know how they uh, uh, how they make plays behind the line of scrimmage, and we've been pretty good all year not letting people make plays behind our line of scrimmage. So it's our you know it's our identity, it's what we do, and we're going to keep hanging our hats on the run game and get behind those big old dudes up front, and see if we can get some yards. Your defense is facing off against one of the top quarterbacks in the WAC, and Alan Flores, who has thrown for over 800 yards and six touchdowns. And he also has two running backs that each have 200 plus yards on the ground. So, what's your defensive game plan tonight against that type of offense? Yeah, he he can really throw it. Um, we feel like he does a good job moving the ball around. There's a couple different receivers that can make some plays too. So we we feel like it's uh, you know they they present some some problems for us throwing the football, um, and they're going to try to run it too. They like to get in their wing T sets and try to run it, but. We feel like if they start passing around, it could give us some issues. So we've got some different stuff ready. We've been tweaking with our or messing with our secondary a little bit, moving guys around, trying to get stuff ready. But, um, yeah, we feel like if they come out and throw it around a lot, they could give some issues. The homecoming football game for Hayes High obviously means a lot to the school, the students, and the fans. But can you explain what it means to the team to play in this type of game and end the week of homecoming festivities? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a – you know, it's something where, um, you know, Hayes High does a, a really good job, and the town of Hayes does a really good job with homecoming. Um, you know, evidenced by Fort Hayes, um, you know, and, and just, you know, the way that it's a big deal through both high schools in town. And, and uh, you know, we feel like it's one of the best things that Hayes High does. And so we always want to put a, a cherry on top and, and uh, be able to go out and, and, you know, give a good performance on Friday night. And, um, you know, the, the, the facts are that we've played this our third home game this year and we're 0-2 at home. And so, you know, it's kind of a little motivation to get one at home in front of our home crowd. and It helps that it's homecoming. There's going to be a lot of people here. So we're, we're due to get one at home. And finally, your next game is against Great Bend, and it's arguably the biggest matchup against your rival in recent memory. So how do you hope to keep your players focused for tonight's game? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're focused too much. I don't think we've thought too much about Great Bend yet. Um, you know, our guys know that uh, we, we need to win this one to put ourselves in a good position to – uh, you know, have a have a piece of five straight WAC championships, and so if we put ourselves in position by winning this one, we feel like then after that, then it's going to be all of our focus going to be on Great Bend, and and uh, I, if we win this one, you know, tonight, I do think that next week's probably going to end up being the WAC championship, and so um, you know we'll get there when we get there, but we got, I think our guys are pretty much focused on winning this one tonight first. And that'll do it for our pregame coaches interview. Coach, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. Thanks, Hank. Appreciate it.